So the ugly question is, how did we get in to this shortage in the first place? This of housing, housing, shortage? housing shortage? Please see the first 20 minutes of this show. <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> there you to, to be honest, it goes back to 2007 and 8 uh, when we had the um, housing crash. Uh, guess what? There wasn't a lot of houses being built. No, I mean, yeah, builders, uh, everyone walked away. They, you know, most of them had, you know, filed bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. So, like, housing they starts. Consolidated. Yeah, housing starts between 2009 and probably, what, 2016 were, what, Half of what they yeah, are plus now. The banks aren't easy to borrow yeah. from. If you're a builder, um, well, no matter what size you are, it's not really easy to borrow from. Let, let me back anymore. this up a little too. <clears throat> what happened to all the people that were in the construction industry? They filed bankruptcy. Well, they moved on to something else. Well, sure. Yeah. And it's very difficult to get uh, skilled uh, labor back, especially when they. Uh, don't have certainty that it will continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people just got out of the, the business altogether. I, I, la I laughed. I mean, it was sad, but I laughed when one, one of the uh, paid technical schools right in the middle of the, of the crash finally started touting their general contractor um, studies. Yeah. Yeah. They were a little behind. Yeah. No kidding. So th that's, that really is the problem. You, even if you wanted to ramp up, you can't because you don't have the skilled labor to do it. Now what we've gotten is we've gone through what, 10 years of them not building enough. Well, and then the thing was that went through 10 years, of not building enough, but we had enough foreclosures and housing inventory for fix and flips and other yeah. kind of uh, repositioning. It wasn't, I mean, it, it's always been a problem. It wasn't as big of a problem. Now that fix and flip inventory, that low hanging fruit isn't as much there anymore. Plus but they're all going to college now for big white collar jobs and nobody's in the trades anymore. All right, so it, what didn't that's change? everything. What didn't change through that, that time? Our salaries. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Our, what didn't change was the creation of new households. Yeah. So while we weren't building any new homes and we were busy uh, fixing up the old homes, mm -hmm. which means we're not adding anything to the uh, inventory because Correct. we're not keeping up with the formation of households. Yeah, most people, people were, to be born. Mo most people were, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Most, most people were. But since 1970, our fertility rate is down like 70 some percent. All right. <laughs> I'm not, sure As a I'm, nation. I'm not sure I'm comfortable talking on that topic. <laughs> we'll talk we'll later about research. fertility rates. Yeah. <laughs> we got to wrap it up though, Bill. We got to move on. I was asked. That's probably you. a contributor to the fertility rate yeah. decline. Bill talking? <laughs> no, <laughs> wrapping it up. Well, I, I was asked. One, <laughs> hey, that was really funny. <laughs> I was asked once what I did about birth control. And I said, I typically rely on my personality for that. <laughs> So well said, my friend, <laughs> we got into the housing shortage. It started oh, back in 2007, that. 2008, and, and we just not been able to catch up since then. 